the Chinese economy. Look, I have to be honest with all of you in a way that the media in this country tend not to be. The Chinese economy is the ascendant economy in the world. No one comes close to what they've accomplished in the last 20 years. No one. And no more powerful a change in the world economy is emerging than what is coming from the People's Republic of China. And one of the ways to show that to you is to share with you some statistics that very recently came out that drive the point home. 2018, the year we are now beginning, will show, all the statistics show it, that for the first time, retail sales in the People's Republic of China, retail sales, that means everything sold in the way of food, clothing, shelter, in the stores where people buy, retail sales in China will equal or surpass those in the United States which used to be number one, which had been number one in total value of sales for more years than most of us have been alive. That is no longer the case. That is a historical change of enormous importance. Why? Well, the reasons are so many you don't know where to start. It means that companies producing for the retail market, which most companies do, are now going to look upon China as at least as important as the United States for their survival, for their profits, for their growth. And since the growth path of China is much faster than that in the United States, the years ahead will only make the difference greater. The Chinese economy will become more important to the producers of food, clothing, and shelter. Their profits will become more dependent on keeping their markets in China, which means accommodating to the Chinese demands for how you do business there, accommodating Chinese political objectives, domestic and foreign. If you want to understand why Mr. Trump, like his predecessors, has had to qualify his noisy protestations about the Chinese, it's because the economic reality of their importance is making every American corporation selling in China, and that's most of our big corporations, the allies of China, 2008 to 2018. This has been a time of difficulty. Global capitalism crashed in 2008. The last 10 years will be, they already are, being called a lost decade because the wages of Americans went nowhere over those 10 years. We're not earning that much more today than we did 10 years ago on average. The super rich have done fine, but everybody else, not at all. We've documented that, as have others, for many, many months. But over the last year, in the Chinese economy, which was also hit by the crash in 2008, their response has been completely different, and there's no nice way to say this, infinitely more successful. The per capita income in China 10 years ago was roughly $2,000 a year. The per capita income in China today is roughly $8,000 per person per year. The Chinese economy has quadrupled its productivity in that time. The United States, nothing remotely like that. That's why the lines are converging, and that's why the Chinese are taking off. It means that an American company is now more likely to advertise in China than in the United States because it's a more important economy for them. They're going to hire Chinese graphic designers. They're going to hire talent in China to help them figure out how to do what advertisers have to do in a retail environment. They're going to hire people to work with the public. They're going to what? They're going to endow university chairs in Chinese universities to get their products and their companies known in the academic world. They're going to be doing in China more and more of what they used to do in the United States. The world economy is changing. And mostly here in the United States, what we have in coping with that is denial, the pretense that this isn't happening and that it won't have all kinds of consequences. 